Hi right guys, we're back at Smash Fishing. About to go fishing for congas tonight. Using big 8 0 hooks. We've got Sam with us again today. Yep. Hopefully, you get a few, eh, mate? There's a good chance of it. We're going to be using half mackerels as bait. So stay tuned. We'll give you a show of what we're doing. Hopefully, get some guys. Stay tuned to Smash That's Fishing. We're using as bait today, guys. Just chomping a mackerel in half. These are ideal baits for conga, nice fresh mackerel. We're fishing off the breakwater today. And all you do to hook them, straight under the chin, like so. Drop it down. I've got three rods, so Sam's got two, so we're gonna cover the bay. We're gonna be fishing right in this deep part. There's lots of rocks and weed down here, and the congas are usually close in. So we're gonna get all set up, so stay tuned guys. Hopefully we get what we're using as a rig at the moment is two, 250 pound mono to a size 8 hook, nice strong one. I think that's an octopus. I've got a uh, video on my channel of how we make these, so you can check that out if you wanted to fish the same way. This is our personal way of doing things. So we've got a breakaway lead, or we can put the clip straight to the swivel, which doesn't really make a big difference because if you're hitched, you're not going to get out. Woo! Lovely sunny day today. We're gonna to wait till it gets dark. We have more chance of the congas then. But for now, we're just gonna keep baiting up and hopefully get them. Got two rods out at the moment. Using them, you can use a boat rod as well. It's a 30 to 50 gram. Woo! 30 pound main line. It's more than adequate for conga. You don't particularly get monsters off here. Anything up to about 30 pound. Average would be about 10. I would have thought. Now nah, you're all right, mate. Conga on guys, this is what we come for. We're not sure how big it is, so I'm gonna take the camera before I gaff it. Hoping it don't come off. Woo! It was in a hole, eh? Yeah. Woo! Sometimes they hide in the boulders down there. Knackering my arm out. This is a 30 to 50 pound class rod, so more than adequate. Woo! <laughs> this is what we come for, guys. Woo! Long, Smash fish it. Long trek down to the steps now. Yeah. Stay tuned, we'll get the camera on when we're back down the steps. When you're gaffing a conga that you want to release, guys, it's always best to try and get it underneath the jaw so you don't cause it too much damage. Get a good look at it now, it's a good 12 pounder I would have thought, maybe 15. Ooh. I don't want to damage it. There Straight under the jaw guys. First conger of the night. Hell yeah, we'll get back up on the lighthouse and give you a better show. First conga of the night guys, about 10, 12 pounds. I'm not gonna bother weighing it, it's only a small one. We want one three times the size. Woo, nice on a whole mackerel bait. We're gonna get the hook out now, give you a little show and get it released. So stay tuned, smash fishing. Gonna get his fish released now guys. Gonna get it down the step. Oh, we've had it out of the water a little while now. There you go guys, straight back down to the bottom. Let's go get more! It's a great start to the day guys, it's not even dark yet. Thanks to Sam, hey. holding the camera, helping me out. We had bites on this as we were landing that fish. It's gone right out there, look. Yeah, it's hard to take it. So I'm going to check the baits, we're going to get all the rods rebaited now before it gets dark. Some of the lads gave us some horse mackerel, so all we do with these is, it's called a flapper. And all you're doing, essentially is getting the fillets but keeping the head so you've got the backbone like that snap it out 
and we'll cut it out. I prefer to rip it, as you can see, all the blood and guts inside. That's an ideal bait for any conger that. Throw the waste away, get your hook, then you go in through the throat latch, like so, out through the top of the head, get that on the bottom, and catch a monster, guys. Hopefully we get some more. Big one, big one. Fish on guys, conga number two. Seems a bit bigger this one. Yeah. Oh yeah, there he comes. That's a better one. That's what we wanted. Yeah. Must be close to 20. Hell yeah. Woo! This is what we want guys. We got, we got Shamu. Shamu. <laughs> Oh yeah, we that weren't long after the, the first fish. It's fine mate, I got it. Woo! Just got to walk him down towards the steps. And hopefully he don't come off. This is a bigger fish, this one. He had me in the rocks for a minute. Don't go down. Got some weight to it, this one. Woo, we get to the steps again, guys. We get the camera on and give you a show. Let me get this fish cap, guys. Yeah, you got it. Oh, that's a better one. Nice one. It's a lot bigger, this fish, guys. Just get him off, I don't want to drag him on the floor too much. Hell yeah. This is what we want on Smash Fishing. This is what we come for. That's the kitty. Yeah. Hell yeah. All right, now we'll get back to our little station. Get you a better show. Here's our fish, guys. I'm not sure how much it weighs. It's got to be close to 20, this one. We're going to quickly weigh it now. Ooh. The hook's only in the side of the jaw. We'll safely get this one out. Get him released. Oh, it's Ted. What's she reading? Come on, lock. 18 pounds six. 18 six. There you go. There you go, guys. 18 pounds six. Woo! It's going Thanks wild. Nothing. That's a better one, eh? Right, we're going to get this fish on hook now. I want to get him in the water as fast as I can. In a minute. Watch your fingers, mate. There you go. You alright? Yeah. Alright, 18 yeah, pounds good. six. We got the hook removed, thanks to a nice person there. Oh, Woo! <laughs> We're filming. This lad got it on hook for me. Yeah. Hell yeah. Cheers for your help, mate. Gonna get this fish released now, guys. Bit of blood from the hook. It was only hooked in the mouth. He's gonna crap it in a minute. Quick, Quick mate. Coming back for more. He doesn't want to go back just yet. Go on, big boy. Off you go. Check that out. That's what we wanted. <laughs> Woo! Stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, we get a bigger one. We're gonna have to pack this rod up, guys. I've smashed it to pieces. My line's all full of gunk. A nice chap helped me pull the line down while I was on hooking it. It's nice to see. Still got two rods out though. Be nice to see 120 plus. Woo! Thanks to Sam for holding the camera. We're gonna get baited up again. Hopefully the big one comes just before night time, baby. Woo! Gonna have to cut this trip short soon, guys. It's getting dark and we've forgotten all the torches. It's not looking good. <laughs> We're going to be fishing over the weekend, but it'd be a nice video and a little insight into conga fishing for you. Some tips and tactics. But we're going to keep fishing until it gets dark, so there's still a chance of more yet. 
Woo, stay tuned guys. Sam's just spinning for bass at the moment, off the edge. The chap's had a bass here a little while back, two and a half, three pound. It's a lovely sunset tonight. Bit gutted we forgot the torches guys. Gonna have to give up again soon. Hopefully Sam catches a pollock or a bass. Be nice to see. Few, po few, few conger in the bag. Not a bad one, 18 pound. We want a good 30 pounder on the channel. But hey ho, plenty nice more time just yet. Just giving us a load of fresh bait guys. This is what we had the congers on. It was horse mackerel or scad. Bony little fish, all we did is take the backbone out and flap her on. That's all for today's episode, guys. What a cracking little trip. Hey, mate. It's been really good, yeah. Really good. Really good. Shame we forgot the uh, head torches. We wanted to fish all the way through the night, but just couldn't. Biggest fish, 18 pounds six, which is not a bad fish nice. considering. Yeah. For Guernsey, you know, sometimes we get the old 30 pounders. That's what we're looking for at the moment. A fresh scad off some uh, people at the lighthouse paid off for us, eh mate? Oh hell yeah it did. Yeah, all the fish came off that fresh bait. Fresh bait's definitely the way to go. We had some mackerel in the freezer. It will work, but you can't beat fresh bait like that. Fresh caught out of the sea. So 18.6, biggest one. Smallest one, what, 9, 10? Yeah, it was about that, yeah. Yeah, about 10 pounds. But stay tuned for the next episode, guys. There'll be plenty more to come. It's Smash Fishing.